Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Thursday, August 24th, 2023. Ethereum's KZG ceremony officially comes to an end. Base unveils details about forming the superchain. Coinbase releases neutrality principles and Lodestar concludes its incentive program. All this and more starts right now. Gitcoin Grants 18 is now live. If you'd like to support this podcast, please consider donating to our grant by visiting ethdaily.io forward slash Gitcoin. Ethereum's KCG ceremony has officially ended with 141,416 total contributions from users around the world. The KCG ceremony is a process that collects entropy from contributors to be used in a commitment scheme for EIP-4844. Close to 10,000 users verified their contribution via GitHub, while the remaining 132,000 used sign-in with Ethereum. Most users needed to meet a minimum nonce requirement of at least 8 transactions in order to participate. The final output generated from the ceremony will be implemented in Protodank sharding EIP-4844, which is set to go live in the Dankun upgrade later this year. Protodank sharding will enable lower transaction fees for rollups. Base, an OP stack chain by Coinbase, unveiled details about its commitment to joining the superchain. Currently, BASE executes upgrades using a 2 of 2 multisig managed by both BASE and the Optimism Foundation. In collaboration with Optimism, BASE will help establish a formal security council responsible for controlling upgrade keys for OP stack chains on the superchain. The security council will comprise independent community members from various geographic locations and is anticipated to launch in early 2024. BASE has also committed to contributing either 2.5% of its total sequencer revenue or 15% of its net on-chain sequencer profit to support public goods on the platform. The Optimism Foundation also extended a grant to BASE, allowing it to earn 2.75% of the OP token supply within the next six years. BASE intends to use the allocation to actively engage in Optimism governance as a delegate. Base is also working to advance technical decentralization and will help scale OP Geth and OP Node clients. Coinbase released a series of five neutrality principles to emphasize its commitment to decentralization for Base. The principles include adherence to the law of chains, full user ownership, transaction neutrality, data integrity, and the freedom to exit. Coinbase seeks to provide users with neutral and open access to Base block space. Coinbase also stated it will not influence transaction order flow on base and will honor transactions by receipt time and gas fees. Coinbase also says users are able to withdraw assets from base without limitations or penalties. The principles aim to guide base from a centralized product into a decentralized and permissionless network. And lastly, a solo staker incentive program designed for solo stakers to use the Lodestar client has concluded. The program ran from March 23rd to August 23rd and allocated a total of $25,000 in prizes to solo stakers who entered the word Lodestar in their validator graffiti tag. Chainsafe, which helped manage the program, is now assessing proposals made by validators to filter out staking entities and gather proposals that meet the program's eligibility criteria. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on Twitter at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.